this segment we're going to learn about Cutting Master 2. I will cover the installation and the setup as well as cover, well, try to cover all the options and features it has so that you can make the best use of it, including how to set up your different files and layers within these different programs. As a reminder, if you are unfamiliar with either Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, you've never used them, well, I would stick to RoboMaster. It's a simple design software that you can use. But that being said, if you are familiar or are planning to become familiar with these, then obviously use these with your Cutting Master 2 plugin. Now, some people ask, well, what's a plugin? Well, a plugin is just that. It plugs into Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, in that all the designing is done in Illustrator and Corel Draw as you would normally do and use these packages. But then what Cutting Master is, it's a plugin that actually allows you to send the design from Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw to the Craft Robo with ease of use and simplicity. But first, let me explain the different components that are with Cutting Master 2. Now, there are two components to Cutting Master 2. First is the plugin. This is the plugin to Illustrator or Corel Draw, depending what you're using. So, this means that they work right within Illustrator or Corel Draw. They're either a button or they're under a pull down menu. In other words, Cutting Master 2 is not a separate program that can run on its own. You have to either have one of these programs to use Cutting Master 2. But once you have a design in either one of these packages, Cutting Master 2 preps it. As you recall, with the plotter controller or the Craft Robo controller, it's like a pre flight. It basically does the same thing, except it has some more powerful tools that you'll be able to take advantage of. And it gets all the different little knickknacks that are needed to make it your output correct. Then what it does is it basically sends it to a queue. And that queue is the second component and it queues up all the jobs. And the queue's basic function is to send the designs or the files, the designs or the files to your Craft Robo. Well, let me show you how these two components works and how they work with each other. Well, to start off with, go ahead and take your Craft Robo CD-ROM and place it in the CD-ROM drive. Now, this window will pop up, and if you're a Vista user, if you're an XP user, You'll, it'll just continue on to the next window. So click on Run Multi Setup, as you recall, when installing the RoboMaster and so forth, when doing our first installation of the software. This time, instead of choosing the second choice, we're going to choose the third choice. That's the Cutting Master 2 install. Click on that, and it starts everything up. Then these next couple of questions, it's going to ask you basic questions. You just have to follow it and continue next until you get to the licensing agreement. So I'll click on next. And once again, we click on next. And the next choice should be your license agreement. If you agree, after reading this, if you agree with the license agreement, then click yes. And then this is the location where it's going to place it. Now, Cutting Master 2 is a small program. So it doesn't take a lot of space. But if you'd like, you can check this information below here to make sure that you have it. If not, you can always choose a different drive. Click Next. I like to install on my desktop because it makes it easy, easily accessible. Now, the interesting thing about this is that what is placed on the desktop is the actual queue that we had talked about earlier. Uh, because remember, Cutting Master 2 is an actual plugin, but the queue is an actual program that you can open up by itself. So I'll click on Next, and now we're going to go ahead and install. Okay, we're finishing up on the process. In this section, it's asking you where your Illustrator is located. Now, what's nice about this program, it actually searches out for the illust different illustrators. So you literally can have two different types of illustrators on here, like, say, CS4 and CS3. It's compatible with CS3 as well as CS4. And with CorelDRAW, it's compatible up to X4. Now, let me explain this right here. This is just something that if you reinstall it, and you've had a driver selected, it'll clear out the drivers. So, but if, this, but if it's your first time installing, then click on yes. If it's not your first time, I would click on no. And then I'll go ahead and finish. And that's basically it. Now, to check it, 
let me exit out of here. Okay, I've opened up Illustrator to just check to see if it's there. And the way you do this is open up a new document, click OK, then click on File, and then you should see this Cutting Master Robo 2 here. If you don't see it, then it didn't install correctly. Now let's go to Corel Draw, see if our program is there. I've opened up Corel, and I've opened up a new file, or started a new drawing. With Corel, don't get confused because sometimes you might get a habit of coming up to file and seeing that Cutting Master 2 isn't there. Well, that's not where it's found. It's actually found where what is called the launcher. And that's this little icon right here. If I click on that, then you can see all the choices I have. But right down at the bottom is where I had the two choices for Cutting Master 2. And you can see the little icon there. If I see those two, then I know it's installed correctly. Now let's go over some components of Cutting Master 2. I'm back in Illustrator and what I'm going to simply do, now there's two ways of opening up the Cutting Master 2. Probably the best way is to draw something up here like a little square and then click on File, Cutting, Cutting Master 2, Robo 2 and then go to Cut Plot. And what that will do is automatically open up the queue and then open up Cutting Master 2. Now let me show you the different components. So this is the queue. Now what you'll see is as you send jobs to it, different uh, jobs will line up underneath here. Now you can also save these jobs if you want or send them, you can stop them or you can delete them. It's as simple as that. Now we also need to set up a driver because right now it doesn't, ha it doesn't know what it's going to send the, the information to. So there's two ways of doing this. Uh, first, if I if I go to Cutting Master 2, the actual pre-flight, this window here, and I'm using the 330L-20. So I choose that driver, click on Next, click on Next. I am on GraphTech USB, so I'll go ahead and click Finish. That's all that's needed to be done. Now, if you're running both CorelDRAW and Illustrator, you don't have to set up two different drivers. It's already done because both of those programs send it to this queue when they're ready to send your design. Okay, so that's the queue. Well, let's talk about Cutting Master 2 and some of its components within the program. I'll start off up here showing you that this is the driver that you have chosen. When you click on Properties, it allows you to select a different port if you'd like whether it be the graphic USB, whether you want to go to a file, and then just the name. Then this little button here, if you want to immediately see the queue, you just click on it and there it is. So I'll go ahead and minimize that. Just below it are three tabs. The three tabs are different options. You have Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.